Hello, JRC family. My name is Ashley Reed, and you are joining me for a brand new edition of Wildin' Out in the Word Wednesdays. Today's scripture is coming from Acts 2, 42 through 47, and it reads, All the believers devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship and to sharing in meals, including the Lord's Supper, and to prayer. A deep sense of awe came over them all, and the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. And all the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. They sold their property and possessions and shared the money with those in need. They worshiped together at the temple each day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy and generosity, all the while praising God and enjoying the goodwill of all the people. And each day, the Lord added to their fellowship those who were being saved. Selfishness has many different characteristics, pride, arrogance, greed, or egotism. But there are other characteristics that we tend not to connect with selfishness. Low self-esteem, shame, or in some cases, excessive humbleness. Selfishness has been a thorn in my side my entire life. Many times it takes the form of arrogance and pride. Other times it takes the form of shame and low self-esteem. Many of us believe that being humble is thinking less of yourself when that is actually a false humility still focusing on ourselves. C.S. Lewis once said, and I quote, true humility is not thinking less of yourself. It is thinking of yourself less. In my life, there have been times when I have ignored the wise counsel of those who love me because I am unwilling to admit the things that I have done. More times than I can count, I have failed, each time leading me to struggle with self-worth. Whether I am feeling good or bad about myself, what makes it selfish is that I am only focused on me. What I did or did not do, or what I have or do not have. The best way to know if you are walking in selfishness is to take notice of how many times you use or think the words I, mine, my, or me. This is also a practice I use when teaching my children about selfishness. It is nearly impossible to be selfless when you are constantly focused on yourself. The difference is that a selfless life starts inwardly. And as you begin to change your focus, then you will begin to change your actions. The action is not what makes something selfish or selfless. It is the focus and or motive of the action when we perform it. We could be doing the greatest work, like helping the church grow or seeing people come to know Jesus, and our actions might still be selfish. When we are focused on what we did and only how it will affect us or make us appear, we become a savior, little s, and no longer in, a, in need of the savior. In order to change our programming, we must change our focus. Instead of focusing on ourselves, we need to put God first. Scripture says in Matthew 6, 33, but seek first his kingdom, his righteousness, and all these things shall be added. In other words, focus on God and he will handle the rest. When we focus on him, he will transform us into someone who is truly selfless. Only then when we selflessly begin to serve others and elevate those around us. And only then will we want others to experience the same Jesus that we are experiencing. In the passage of scriptures coming from Acts 2, 42 through 47, did you notice that no one got credit for what they did or did not do? 
No one was focused on themselves. Instead, they were focused on Jesus and how to share his hope and real love with each other and the world. Although this is not an easy shift, imagine what we will do together if we all go in and focus on God instead of ourselves. On that note, let us pray. Father God, we thank you for allowing us to share in this time together. We ask that you would continue to show us how to walk in true humility. We ask that this world would see your love through us. And more than anything, Father God, we thank you for your grace and mercy that abounds in those times when we are selfish and not selfless. All these things we ask in your darling son, Jesus name. Amen. JRC, it has been an absolute pleasure to share with you today. Until next time, I love you all. Be blessed.